My name is Freddie and I am eight years old. I am blind but I can see th some things like colour, light and dark. I've been going to school with my sister since I was four. I was first East Preston infants, but now of course I've got older and moved up to East Preston juniors, like all my class have done. My cane is very useful and I use it in school to feel my way around. I'm learning how to read Braille in school and it's starting to get easier. I'm Lita Woodward, I'm a Year 3 teacher and I've been teaching Freddie this year. Reading is really very much a strong part of every single lesson because in maths they need to be able to read problems and so on. In other topics they need to be able to read things. I use a Braille to type Braille in class. I can write just the same things as the other kids do. Today's lesson was a maths lesson which involved weighing and measuring and reading scales. Freddie cannot read the scales on an ordinary set of scales, so what we do is he has a talking scales machine which actually speaks the weight for him. The things I like to do are play games, in the playground at school. Sometimes I'm talking to kids and they just walk off without me knowing and I still carry on talking to them and they should tell me that I'm walking off and let me finish the conversation first. So today in school we played a game called Over Under and there was a ball that makes a noise. So I know where it is. I belong to a running club at school and I'm doing very well in it. I run with my sister, that is very good. You find yourself doing and saying things that you would do normally, but you're then having to adapt it to remember you've got to include a child who can't see you making a gesture, can't see where you're looking or what you're pointing at. It's great when my friends are in class learning a bit more about what it's like to be blind and it makes me feel more included. Is it hard to read brown? Do you think maybe we should let somebody try that? Right, now we need someone to close her eyes shut tight. In front of you, if I give you the card, do you feel it? It's actually the alphabet. Can your fingers make any sense of it? Reading Braille, you have to be really energetic, sit up straight, fingers on the paper. It takes quite a long time to read Braille, to sound out all the words, but if I listen to an RNRB talking book, much quicker. I read a school book as Braille, and I relax at home with a talking book. And I say that listening to a talking book I still count it as reading it though. So so I'm like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I've read it, even though I've just listened to it. During the last year with working with Freddie, I found out that there are only 7% of the possible books available to blind and partially sighted people like Freddie. And it's a real shame that they cannot access more of them. What do you think about the fact that if Freddie went to the library, he can't just go and pick a book off the shelf to read? It wouldn't be very nice. So what do you think should happen? There should be available at the same time so Freddie can read them as well. Straight away and not happy? Yeah. It might be a bit annoying sometimes if I can't get the same books as my friends. Help us change the story. Wear dots raise lots for RNIB. Register today at rnib.org.uk forward slash wear dots. RNIB. Supporting people with sight loss.